Good morning, guys. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Oh my gosh, Posey and Ellie definitely make a pair. Posey has a plan every day. The minute I open that door, she runs to that chicken coop. Look at, just wait, Sophie. All the chickens. Wow, I can really see now. Look, look at me. I'm filming and you just walked in front. Oh. Well. Posey, has a, Posey has a plan every day. She runs right to the chicken coop because, oh my gosh, maybe there will be food in there. And when she doesn't find food over here, she runs right to the horse barn because she thinks there will be food there too. Black and red chicken. Yeah. Really it is a really cute little chicken. I love it. It's, it's one of our latest ones. It's like a bar rock, but without black It's a little, black. well, you guys can't see her. She's cute. Oh, he's after her. Look at him. His feathers look so weird. Like they're so like they just hang funny. I don't know what you're talking about. He's a cute potato. He is really cute. He was headed he was trying to mate with her. Alright, where did I lose the pig? Come on, Ellie! Come on! Okay, come on, piggy. We're going to the today we are not being in the chicken coop or the goat barn. We're headed to the horse barn. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We are hoping that our little tiny call duck will actually have a friend tomorrow. So he's going to go to the sales barn with Sam and see if she can find herself another call duck to keep him company. He's still so, so freaking cute. Where are you headed? I'm going to the dump. He's going to the dump. Come on. So Posey's getting to a hard stage. She's still a really good pig and an easy pig. But the hard part about Posey is that she has a mind of her own and she's not afraid to use it. Ellie, Ellie, get back in here. We do not need any of that fancy business. Ellie, come on, Ellie, come on. <laughs> Over there. Hi, Pen. Hi. Oh my goodness, you got dirt on you. Oh my goodness, you want a brush? All right, I'll give you a brush. So uh, you got, oh, the goats are up here. Why are the goats up here? So you guys have seen us getting the goat barn ready for spring. We're not done. It's spring cleaning on a farm. It takes a long time, especially when you're older. It, it takes, uh, everything takes a little bit longer. But today we're gonna try and clean up this horse barn the best that we can and we're gonna start getting it ready. But now I kinda just wanna play with my horse because she's pretty sweet. You got dirt on you. Sam is gonna drag the arena hopefully tomorrow. We need it to kinda get a little bit drier because it's been raining for a week. So once it's a little bit drier, he's gonna drag it, get rid of all the mess from the past winter and it'll be all fresh for the horses. Hey, Penny. Don't run off. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night, trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand, looking at the sunset. Man, you're looking good. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do
most of the brushing that I do with my horse is just wherever I catch her, wherever she is, I just always go up with a brush and groom her. But I'm a little bit nervous right now. I want to do her tail, but because Storm is standing in the doorway and I sense some attitude, her pinning her ears at him and him flicking his ears at her, I don't want to be out there and risk it. So <laughs> she's going to be tail. I'm not going to do her tail yet. Oh, she okay. wants to go out. It's mine. I just had to put it there for five seconds, Miss Picky Picky. You should groom her whole body. Well, while this sits, I'll do her wrong. You should wash it first. Cause look, it's all dirt. Yep, see, this is where it's getting angry. Storm, you better go. Storm's like, I can do it. Just dirt all around her eyes. <laughs> I know, but he does do stuff to her. She always has bite okay, marks. She starts it half the time. I don't care, he bites her. She kicks him, he bites her. Uh oh. All right, things are gonna get dicey. Oh, you need a brush too, Storm. Oh, she's not even gonna leave. Normally she'd leave in a hissy. I saw where someone said the other day when she was squealing all the time that she's in season. I don't know how thick your tail is. But she was not in season. She does it. It's not a season thing. She hates him, and she squeals at him 24/7 every day. Every day she screams at him. Not 24-7, but every day. Sure. So I'm glad you guys are standing in the same place, happy. You're like two kids, siblings, although my sibling, my kids don't fight that much. My hands are gonna be dying, but I'm taking her right Why don't you get some gloves? I don't care, it comes out eventually. My hands are like kind of red anyway. All right, so Sophie's gonna, she's trying to die. Honey, a little bit pink, her hair. I told her to wash it first. Silly to dye somebody's hair. It's just temporary. It'll come out in the rain. <laughs> Honey's like, oh, this feels so good. I don't know. She's like the kind of horse that's like, she's proud that Sophie's doing stuff with her. She never have a, now, I like <laughs> And then there's Gracie. And there's Penny saying, get out of here, Gracie. <laughs> come on, share. Uh-oh. See? Hey! We can't all be friends. Stand there. Don't hit my camera. Oh, you are so handsome. Yes. You did not grow very much hair this year. I might be able to. And I ain't playing no games. Maybe you won't change. I only want you. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. in every five minutes. <laughs> Gracie, come here, I want to finish you. brush them and not even have to tie them up just give them a quick brush willow remember willow sat in a field for 15 years and was never handled and even though she is amazing today she still doesn't like to be brushed she doesn't like it's not her favorite thing so if i want to brush her i have to tie her up and i just leave it to sophie hi <laughs> she absolutely 
So clearly, the leader of our herd is Mr. Storm. Look at that big butt though. I love it. I love your butt, Storm. It's just me. Look at that butt. You guys. All right, so Sophie is <laughs> dying willow or honey. The interesting thing about honey is that she wants attention always, doesn't she? She's a blonde, so she signed up for this. Sophie thinks it's her own fault she's getting dyed. She really needs a good brush. Red all over my face now. Uh, no, you don't have red on your face. But she, it's true, she really does, like she's a baby that loves to be handled. She loves to be busy, she loves to be doing stuff, she loves to get away from the horses. And Storm loves to be touched. <laughs> He's right now rubbing it in Penny's face. Ha, 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 I'm in here and you're not. You're not very nice. <laughs> he's just getting ready to let her know that he's in charge. Yes, you are. I'm going to do a big sweep of this barn. Sam never sweeps. It's my one pet peeve, but he does so much and they're not even his horses, so I have to just let it go. But I'm gonna just clean up in here. I'm gonna sweep hang up all of our blankets. Hopefully we're not gonna need blankets anymore. Today is kind of chilly outside. Nice in the sun, but still kind of chilly. And hopefully it's the end of blanket season. That's supposed to rain two days this week, so. Whoa, see, she gets mad when he follows her and he goes like chasing after her. He walks toward her and she gets all upset. And it's not that she's upset, it's that she's telling him to stop. And he's trying to run her off right now. He's like, get moving, move your feet, go, I'm the boss of you. And she doesn't, she doesn't like that. That's just not the kind of horse that she is. But the, min the minis, all the ponies enjoy being with Storm. I don't know if they enjoy him, but they accept him as their leader and they don't fight back all the time. Uh-oh, it's gonna get ugly. Take a look at this messy old barn and I'm going to clean it. All right, so I am done this section <laughs> and things are happening, I wanted to show you guys, but look at how much nicer it looks. So she's still getting her hair dyed. I don't think it's gonna work. In the past, cleaning the horse barn has always been super calming and relaxing, but not anymore. Because look at out here. Do you guys see it? There's Blossom up there all alone. She leaves all of her friends, leaves all of her food just so she could be by her baby. Like, this is killing me. This is heartbreaking. This is devastating. I know. But... It'd be even more devastating if she got pregnant by her son. So I get it. But still, it's so hard when they love each other so much. And when they're all three separated from their babies, that's really going to be awful. She's going to try and jump that. Do not jump that. I wonder if that's how she got in before. Don't even think about it. She's looking at me. Don't. I decided I'm gonna leave the blankets here because like I said, it's gonna rain two more days and it's gonna get colder again. I'm gonna take all of these things in and wash them so that, so I can see what we need um, for this season. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you really quick is, oh no, you see my pig? Come on piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, I see her going down there. I'm trying to let the pig have a little bit more freedom. Like I'm trying to let her run around and be a pig while I do the things that I need to do. And she's been so good. She's been laying right outside the barn door in the sun, just sunbathing, which actually I didn't put sunscreen on her, so that's maybe not a good thing. But she's actually like staying and she's actually staying and behaving, but now she just ran off. She wants water. <laughs> She's hot. She's like, I need some shade. It's okay. It's just me, pig. I noticed that she actually gets really uh, worried if I'm not near her. Oh, I have to put a bucket out there for you to drink water so you don't have to drink dirty water. But so she'll watch for me and watch for me and see where I am to make sure that like she stays near me. 
And if she can't see me, she'll go with Sam. Ellie, get over here. Ellie, get Ellie. Get over here. Ellie, come on. Thank you. I do not want you leading the pig astray. Because that field is not a fun place to chase her through. Because trust me, I've done it. <laughs> come on. Such a good girl. Come on. What? Oh, you're doing her in here? Clean now. It's all nice and clean, but is it pink? Not pink at all. It's a little bit pink. It's nothing. It's nothing, Sophie. Did you actually yes. dye it? Yes. With what? My hand. Did you? Yeah. So she put soap with the dye. She put soap with the that dye. That would work better. Obviously, sweeping doesn't make that much of a difference. And I left Sam's hay pile there. I do not know what that's for. It looks like it's been there for a month. Um, and I didn't rake this area for Penny. She digs like a big hole there and sleeps in that hole. <laughs> you are so cute. This puppy still makes me so happy, even though she pulls her ponytails out all the time. And the reason is, is that even though she's calmed down and she's not as crazy as she was last year when she was a puppy, she is still so much fun. If I go outside right now and say, where's the piggy? She'll point me in the direction that he, that she is. She still has her issues, her Yorkie issues, where if you call her on, she's going to fight you. She likes to fight the goats and she likes to fight the roosters, right? Do you like to fight roosters? <laughs> she's like, show me a rooster. Just show me a rooster right now. <laughs> But the thing I love most about Ellie is that no matter where I am, Ellie's there. I don't even pay attention to her. I lose track of her. It does, she doesn't even cross my mind. And I sit down for one second and poof, she's there. Or I leave to go to another area, poof, she's there. And that is like the biggest, most amazing thing ever. When you have a dog that loves you and protects you and tries to keep you safe and always is watching where you are and then just shows up. Like she just makes me so happy. Right, Ellie girl? Right? I think there's a woodpecker outside. Right, Ellie? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Did you take the trailer down to the goat barn? Yeah, it's just waiting there because I need to stop opening the gate. All right, thanks. Get Honey's getting the works. <laughs> she wants her back leg to be. And there's my pig. Okay. Spots on his ears. He has spots on his ears. He has messed up horns from that horn powder that we used, but they're okay. They're just bent at the edge. Hi. Hi, Winston. Look at how cute he is. I know, he's adorable. He just has the softest face, like a, like a little baby. I really want to put the pig in the in the goat field, the other goat field, and let her wander around throughout the course of a day. I want her to find out where she can get shade. I want her to, I want her to like start to be a pig. But then I had a dream the other night, and it was really troubling. So I dreamed that in the past we've had a bunch of baby wild animal babies and we've soft released them and that's basically when you allow them to leave slowly over time and we had some raccoon babies that we've done that with as well just kind of open their cage and let them be able to come and go first you kind of raise them and then when you do a soft release you allow them to be able to come back and leave and go slowly into their new home and become wild so i dreamed that there was a raccoon and we released him and yeah, we that were. he kept coming back and kept coming back and he had pain somewhere and he kept trying to tell us that he had pain and we didn't ever listen to him and then slowly he went wild and slowly he left and went away forever and the problem with my dream was that i got to see what it felt like for him to go wild and it was like he didn't want to go wild he wanted to stay like it was this awful dream it was so real though it was like such a learning dream it wasn't like it was like i got to see the process of him slow releasing through his eyes and ugh, it was awful <laughs> it was awful i could see that he had this big loss because he loved us and he was a part of it like he knew us we, it was must be similar to what animals go through like when they leave their parents but anyways, it was so stressful for me and I just woke up feeling like I knew what it felt like for them to be pushed away from the family that they know. 
So now I can't just leave her up there. And the reason is, is because I see all the times where I'm busy working in the barn and she's laying right outside the barn and she's keeping me in her eyes and how I started coming down to this barn and then she came down to this barn. Like, wait, is the pig in there? Yes. You gotta bring her out. And I'm sensitive to it. it. Just made me see things in a way I'd never seen it before. And it makes me nervous to just throw her out there. And she's still really young. And I don't know, from now on, I think I'm just gonna play it by watching her and seeing what she's ready for because we're just not ready for it yet. Can you hang this thing up for me? You think we're weighing goats, you're right. <laughs> we're weighing goats. Let's see it. Sam bought a new latch for the door. I don't know if there's any good. So Sam brought the trailer down. Before I can clean any more stalls, we actually need to get rid of all the stuff that we already took out. So that's the plan <laughs> for today and for tomorrow. We're gonna empty all this area out. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 